at the back of any dishwasher there are two hoses one is inlet hose and the other is waste hose both of these hoses need to be connected to pipes underneath the sink however in some cases it might be a different location but not far away from the sink so your sink cabinet must have holes to pass in the hoses if it doesn't then you need to make some holes to pass in the hoses as you can see i have passed through the hoses to under the sink this is my t feed water valve with a 22 millimeter end cap if you got an end cap simply unscrew it by turning anti-clockwise direction now we need to screw in the feed water hose onto this valve the hose's head would have an seal inside make sure the seal is at the center and it is sitting firmly then simply screw in the hose's end just make it as tight as you can with your hand then simply use a pliers to turn on the valve all you got to do is to make sure the valve's handle is parallel to the direction of the floor if after turning on the valve if you see water leaking then you need to make the connection of the inlet hose tighter you could also use high grip glove to assist you in making it tighter under your sink where the waste pipe is connected there should be an opening like this where you should then connect your waste hose all you got to do is to cover the outlet pipe opening like this if you don't cover the whole length like I did in here then the water still could leak from this opening so it's very important to try to completely cover this opening now push in the hoses a bit further in behind the sink cabinet and push in the dishwasher all the way to the wall next to my sink connect the power plug to the socket and now I'm ready to use my dishwasher again just turn it on and test it and make sure there is no leaks from either of the hoses <laughs> 